Hey and welcome to the Advanced Combat Tracker with Aragon. Today I will show you how to install and use this Combat Tracker for Neverwinter. Okay, so there will be two links in the video description below. One will lead you to the download of the act itself, and then the second one leading you to the plugin for it. So, hit the first link to download the act which should lead you to the main website and you just want to hit the the link up at the top here on the main page and you'll download the setup and just save that and let that download and then go back to the second link to download the plugin just hit that link and it should directly lead you to a page which will offer you to download the plugin straight away so when those two are finished downloading just hit the act setup and install that. Just hit yes and then next and install. That should create an icon on your desktop here. And you just double click that and the act should load up and open. First up you will get this startup wizard here. You can just hit close on that. Next thing you'll want to do is install the plugin. So go to your plugin tab. Hit browse and then you want to navigate to where you downloaded the plugin and that will be your neverwinter.cs just hit open on that and you will have to then click add enable plugin that will enable the plugin here for neverwinter after you have done that you are nearly ready to go you'll want to then navigate to your game and in your game you'll want to go to your chat bar and type in forward slash combat log one it should prompt you at a certain point and after you've done so you should get a system message in system notify channel that says combat log one after you've typed that in now your game will record all your combat logs for this game session. Whenever you reset your game, it will cancel the combat log and it won't record it until you input that command again. So then when you just hit something like this dummy, it will start recording everything you do within that combat. At least all the damage you do and the damage you take and whatnot. Okay, so now that should have created a combat log file you will want to go back to your ACT. You then will want to go to your import and export. You will want to be on the section import a log file and it should look like this. So now you will want to hit select file. Here is where you want to navigate to your log file. To do this, the easiest solution is to go back to your desktop and to your Neverwinter link. If you right click it, you can hit open file location and it should pop up. It should, uh, I'm not saying it will do for everybody. It should pop up a folder here with your application for Neverwinter, just here. If you scroll back to the top, you should have a folder called Neverwinter and in there you should have your three servers, beta, live and playtest. Currently I'm on live, so you just double click that, open it up and you'll want to go to your logs folder which is here in the logs folder you will have all your crash stuff and whatnot and little text files go to game client and in there you should find one called combat log this is the one you'll be after the rest of them you can just freely delete some of them you won't be able to delete fully while you have the game open Deleting them shouldn't affect your game whatsoever. So now what you want to do to make it easier to get back to this uh, folder, I would right click on, I'd go all the way back to the Neverwinter folder there and create a shortcut of it. I would create this shortcut. If you scroll down, you should find it here. And I would drag and drop that in your desktop. I already have one there, so I'll just click skip. 
and then navigate back to your desktop and that folder should be there. If you double click that, you should get you the options of your three folders here, the beta, live and playtest. So now go back to your advanced combat tracker, you hit that select file button, then I would go to my desktop and find that Neverwinter shortcut you made. Double click it, you should be uh, at these three folders here. Click on live, click on logs, click on game client and click combat log. Once you click that, you can just hit open. Then you will pop up a screen like this that has the two options you and use above. Just click use above, character name doesn't uh, matter. You can just hit close then after that and navigate back to the main tab up the top here. So now you should have a thing called uh, import zone here. If you have successfully recorded your combat log in Neverwinter. Here you will have all the encounters that you have been in since you typed in the combat log command in Neverwinter. Every time you shut down and reopen your game that will reset so you'll have to type forward slash combat log one in there to keep recording your combat log. It will always record the combat log in one folder or in one file so if you want to reset the data within that, then you will want to navigate back to that log file and just delete it. And then whenever you go to combat again, it will start recording the combat log file as long as you have used the command. So now we have our import zone here and we have our data from when we were in combat. So then I would hit these little plus icons to open up an encounter you want to look at. If you just hit all, you can just see simple data on uh, your start time, your duration, the damage you've done. And if you expand this open a bit, you can see more of the titles. You, know, you have your damage percentage, your encounter DPS, your encounter high DPS, damage taken and whatnot. There are many different tabs. If you click on the encounter, it will be just the encounter itself and what happened within it. If you open that again, you will get all the participants within that encounter. If you open them up, you can see specific data on them. So for example, if I click outgoing damage, it should pop up with a pie chart here at the bottom and just above it, the list of all the powers I used within the combat, the damage I've done, my encounter DPS, that is the DPS, the damage per second I did in that encounter, um, the average damage and whatnot, all the way along. There are many different options. You can also adjust uh, the titles of these and their order. And the way to do that is to go into options. If you scroll all the way to uh, main table and encounters options you can go to zone view and options that will adjust the tables for when you click zone here import zone and you can change the options of let's say the title and the order of them as well let's say I don't want start time or end time I would uncheck them let's say I want duration damage and so on and so forth. Let's say I want the zone. And it will only go into effect when you reset it. So let's say to reset it, this, and to update your combat log, you'll want to clear it and just import it again by going select file, finding a file, and clicking open, and then just use above and close. Then if you navigate back to the main, open it up again, go back to my import zone, you can see now I have my title, my duration, my damage, my encounter DPS, and my zone, rather than what it was at default. And then you can go down to encounter view and do the same, and all the way down to your attack type view options. For me personally, I like to have the damage view order. Damage type view order is when you go into 
the target or a target all the way to the outgoing damage tab. Here in these titles, I like to have these different than the default. Just for clarity, I prefer to have my type, then my duration, then my DPS, which I like to move up just after duration, then I'd have damage, then there's no need for average, I'd have my medium, min, max, resist, there's no need for that either, it would always resist, will always so uh, physical, either physical or null or some other such nonsense. Um, whenever like it's damage, uh, magical damage, it won't show it. It'll just say physical. Um, then I would have, yes, I'd have my hits. I would have also my critical hits. Uh, there's no need for swings. Uh, no need for two hit. I would, yeah, like my crit percentage and also like my flank percentage. Flank percentage is the amount or the percentage of your damage that was done with combat advantage. So if you were correctly flanking the boss with your allies, you would gain your combat advantage and that would be labeled as your flank. It's very good to see how well your positioning is within Tower of the Mad Mage. Are you always behind the boss with the tanks on the other side? So there you can see now. With adjusting those options of the titles, I now have my type, so all the powers I've been using and their damage they've been doing, uh, the duration, the DPS damage, uh, the three hits types there, the amount of hits I've been doing, the critical hits, the crit percentage. That's also good to see and uh, to make sure that you have your crit chance uh, capped and seeing how often things crit. Keep in mind, the longer the duration, the more, um, the more clear and proper these results will be. So if I've only hit for one minute, it's not likely it will get completely close to my exact crit chance. Uh, since I was fighting a dummy, I had no flanks, so I had no, um, no combat advantage. So flanks all at 0% there. So. To actually test things, the things that you can test are mainly powers that have a name. Bonuses that give you uh, like just power and such, you won't be able to uh, directly check within the ACT as it won't come up. Some of your set bonuses, let say like the... Uh, the Demon Lord set, that won't proc up. However, your music box set will pop up within the ACT. So to see how much damage my, uh, let's say, Demon Lord set is doing, I know I know it's going to do up to 10% more damage, but it's going to be hard to figure out exactly how much unless I compare it without the set. So that can be rather inconvenient for the ACT to track. You can see it will record your Tenebris, your counter powers, daily powers, outwill powers, uh, the 5% extra damage from your Vorpal, and whatnot. So I think I will leave you there. Uh, hopefully the video has been clear and informative. If you have any other advanced questions with the ACT, I can probably help you out with it. Um, keep in mind, this installation guide is for Windows 10. I'm not sure whether it will work the same for other versions of Windows and good luck installing on other um, operating systems like Linux and such and Macs. I have no idea how to do it there. I'm sure there are alternative guides on the internet there for that. And I think that will be everything and yeah, goodbye for now.